Well, hey there, welcome. My name is Mike Simmons, and thanks for stopping by to check out my video. Now, if you're thinking about making a website and using WordPress, you're making a good choice, in my opinion. There's a lot of ways to make websites nowadays, but WordPress, to me, is the best way. It does take a little bit to learn, and of course, that's why you're here watching this video. But if you can drag and drop, you know, drag, hold down your left mouse and drag something from one side of the screen to the other, and have a little bit of creativity, or at least, you know, a little willingness to be creative and you can use other people's designs to maybe wet your creative juices you can make a great looking website and here is a little preview of what we're going to cover in this video this is not going to be a real complicated type of video but I am going to show you all the basics you're going to need to get started and get a website landing page web pages get going online so let's take a look at some web pages that we're going to take a look at during the video Here's a sample home page. It's the header. Which Here's a sample, uh, simple logo, I should say, which I'll show you how to make in the video. Here's some social icons. This black toolbar up here does not have to be showing and, of course, will not show to your site visitors. Just thought I'd point that out. Here's a section we're going to make in the video. And this is a full width section. Your website does not have to cover the width of the page, but that's a pretty popular style nowadays, and that's what we're doing in the video. But very easy to change this using the free Generate Press and free Elementor Page Builder plugin we're going to use. And of course, you see the headings, and of course, the image overlaying everything, the buttons, which change color if you hover over them. Of course, they would go somewhere if you clicked on them somewhere on your site. Here's another section with a video and some text and a headline. Here's three columns right here with a blue background. Here's another section with some text in there. Here's a testimonial and we have another button down here at the bottom here. A couple buttons down here at the bottom. Uh, that is one page we're going to make and Here's another page we're going to make, which is very similar. In fact, I used the other page as a template, which we'll talk about in the video too. This is a landing page style web page. And you notice the, tar the dark uh, text overlay right here, the box, the dark bo text box with the light text and the button inside the text box also. And you notice there's no navigation menu or anything like that. The header up here, right here. Here we go in the navigation menu. In the landing page, we do not have that, and that's one of the benefits of using Elementor. They have uh, something you can do, which will take away your header and your footer, so you don't have to have any navigation menu, which you would not want to have on a landing page anyway. Here's another page we're going to make. You can use this as a contact page, a location page, uh, even a home page on a website. And this is the page using all free plugins. We have a free slider plugin. And plugins, by the way, if you don't know what they are, are just a bunch of code, and you don't have to know anything about how they work to use them. Here's the Google Maps, which Elementor lets you do very easily. Some testimonials. Here's another another contact form using a free plugin, a WordPress plugin. And we'll go back up here, and here's the same page using the. Generate Press Premium Add-on, which is the Generate Press is a free WordPress theme, but it does have a premium add-on it, which lets us do stuff like this secondary menu right up here, and this different style of menu right here rather than the default style, which you, comes with the free Generate Press. And we're also using the Elementor Pro Page Builder plugin, which has some really cool pro elements. We'll take a quick look at during the video. We're going to use the free page builder element or page builder plugin for the majority of the video but we will take a look at the pro uh, version at the end of the video here's the slider for which you get during the pro version if you buy the pro version of Elementor very cool slider has a lot of different uh, variations you can do to make your slides you know the text overlays and the your images here's a form which comes with the Elementor Pro form builder and it has a lot of cool options too. Uh, but anyway, we're going to take a look at all that and, of course, much more during the video. So I think that's enough of a preview. So let's get started. All right, what am I going to cover in this video? Well, this is going to be WordPress 101. This is not going to be heavy diet, you know, graduate level work here. 
We're going to keep it simple and basic, but at the same time, keep it thorough so you know all you need to know to get your website going. First thing we'll do is talk about choosing a domain name. That's the first thing you have to do to get a website online. And we'll cover getting hosting, and then we will install WordPress. Super easy to do nowadays. We'll go over all our WordPress settings, make sure we get everything set up correctly, all the foundation in place for your WordPress site. We'll talk about what are called plugins and themes. We'll go over the customizer section, which is a very cool what you see is what you get. You can make changes and see them in a preview screen right as you're going along. And then we're going to use a very nice and free WordPress page builder, which makes it super easy to create really cool web pages for your website. Then after that, of course, it's up to you how far you want to go. So onward and upward.